Welcome to Modern Spots, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the Dark Zone Solar Pro. This plaster costs $15 at Walmart. Okay, so let's see what your $15 gets you. You get the plaster itself, and it comes with 10, or rather just a bunch of, of these new Dark Zone bamboo darts. Okay, these are also the same darts that came with the MK4 as well. And they're also the same ones on Amazon, they're like 40 bucks. Now what makes this pistol so unique is that right there. It folds, it's got a release handle here. Okay, you can load this blaster by the bleach. And I've got a whole bunch of ammo to test. Just a bunch of random darts. I've got a X-Shot Pro Dart. I got a Worthless Hasbro Dart. I've got a three-quarter dart. I've got two types of bamboo dart, the new series and the older series, Gen 3 Plus and a 50 cal foam mold. All right, and from what everything I've read about this blaster, this blaster shoots like a champ. And the limited use that I've had with this thing, I've been astonished with it. It's phenomenal. I really do love this blaster. It's compact. It definitely has some pop and power behind it. When I ran this blaster over my chronograph, I was getting the speed just sort of like normal darts of like 110 to 120, which is really good for a jolt. Okay, but seriously, they made a freaking jolt. A Pro Series jolt. One that shoots above 100. I own jolts. I own a lot of jolts, right? I, I get them in blaster packs all the time and stuff like that. I have the X-Shot ones as well. And I thought the X-Shot ones were great until I picked this thing up. Well, I'll tell you what. I've got my chronograph here. I'm, I'm going to give you some chronograph numbers while I run a couple different type of darts through this thing. So let's see what we get, ladies and gentlemen. We'll start with the long darts first. This is the X-Shot dart. Got a nice little climb to it. That was a long dart, and that was at 110 FPS. That's not bad. This is a regular Nerf Elite dart. That was 115 FPS. That's not bad either. Now let's try this three-quarter dart. These darts come with like um, shell ejecting blasters, like shell ejecting shotguns and stuff that you get from China. They're great, you know, for certain things like this. This is silly, are they just for testing pretty much? I do use them in a couple blasters here and there, but that's about it. That only shot at 75 FPS. It's a Chinese dart, that's why I go figure, you know, very inconsistent. Now, we've got the Generation 3 Plus for Worker. That was 117 FPS. Okay. Let's try the Bamboo 2.0, which is the green body with purple head. Let's see what we get. And remember, bamboo darts are lighter, ladies and gentlemen. That was another 115 FPS. That's not bad. Now, this is one of the new bamboo darts. The ones that just came out, the same ones with the MK4. I think I'll call these red tips. That sounds appropriate. This blaster does definitely have a neat little prime to it. That was 124 FPS. That's pretty good, especially for a single shot pistol like this. This is what I'm excited to see. These are 50 cal foam balls. These are used in like the Monkey Mars, Colonel Wasp, Firefly. I also have a 50 cal paintball pistol. I use these when I play in my games. Let's see what this one gets. Hmm. 
137 FPS. That's really nice. So this blaster definitely delivers and hits. It shoots over 100. The top speed was 137, but that's off of 50 cal foam balls. Off of normal darts, it was doing about 115. That's not bad at all. I mean, this is definitely a home run. $15 at Walmart. I mean, I don't know if the Canadian guys can get, get these yet. I, I am sending one out to that old Nerf guy. I have two of these. I got mine through Grimm's Mods because he was able to order his before I could order mine. Just because they kept flirting in and out of stock. Well, he ordered six and he sent me two of them. One for myself and one for David. And of course, I paid him for both blasters. But And they just showed up today. These things are just, this thing is just great. I mean, wow, it is nice. I can definitely see this as a last stand, last resort pistol. Or maybe kind of like, Any of you designers out there, I got one for you. Take this right here, this dart zone rail, and make it so you can mount it on Picatinny, on say like the Harrier maybe, or the Seagull. I mean, that would be a kind of a cool thing, like a crooked cousin almost. I mean, maybe like a nice pick rail on top so and mount it somehow so it would be a crooked cousin. I mean, it would definitely be dope. If, if, if there's any designers out there that want that idea, they can have at it. You know, that's my gift to you guys, but this thing is just awesome. I'm definitely going to keep this one in my arsenal. But in any event, ladies and gentlemen, I'll put a buy link in the description below, but wow. Until next time, this is Myler's Mods signing off.